Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, grasshoppers. Uh oh. It's a little too big. A little too small and a little too big. Now we have our old nemesis, Ariel Zamora. Darkblade said, Hello, Sensei. We'll take this opportunity to grab at the center. Good morning, Darkblade. How are you, sir? Let's give the latest chess informant a plug. The one I am currently studying. And I will get to it immediately after this, but I'm also on a chessable deadline. Many of you already have my book. Now that our opponent has committed himself to a certain structure, a certain structure where he might be playing a standard King's Indian, in order to control the center, we'll continue to expand. He doesn't have Knight D4, and now. moment of truth. It's just going to hold it. We're just going to hold it. We have to prevent attacks on a couple of fronts, actually. He's got a double attack coming. Wow. That's quite crazy. How do we stop that double attack? He's got knight to g4 and he's attacking our bishop. So I think we have to guard our bishop. Event HTTPS like us org Swiss AWEBDJ 8W. Please join the dojo. And defend our bishop again. Org team master chess dojo rapid classical. That was a very serious threat that he had. His big idea was knight to g2, attacking our pawn, and the bishop on a1. Trimultaneously. I have a very difficult time trying to find a good square for my bishop at the moment. I do want him to have one less center pawn. That much is true. So we'll capture toward the center. And we will lock up the center as needed here. Buddy like you. I never dreamed that I'd lose somebody like you. No, I never fall in love. Dark Blade. With you. Said, why not H3? H3? Then he has Night Takes. And C takes B4. This was being attacked three times. I just didn't like it. He also has the option of capturing, 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 and playing E5 at whatever moment as well. 
H3 can also be met by just simply C takes D4. And he is trying to get in to E5. The C4 square is weak. My first instinct is to start putting pieces on squares, but I have to watch out for being mated as well. So knight to e5. Does he have any way of attacking me? With you. Everything is guarded. Apparently everything is guarded. With you. And should he capture, I'm going to capture with my knight. I'm going to try to keep everything battened down the best I can. Never fall in love with you. And he did have bishop take c3 first, which would have caused no end of consternations. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. We are certainly in trouble. Wanna fall in love with you. Fortunately, we have a counterattack. We don't have much of a counterattack. He can be paying attention. Here's a counterattack. I know he was looking at which knight to capture on uh, with. So do we want to play knight takes or queen takes? Is this going to be a, a moment where we're tied down or do I really want to worry about that? I think I have to take with the queen. And we won't stop. Can't you see it's we who own the night? Can't you see it's we who about that life? And we can't stop. And we won't stop. We run things, things don't run. We don't take nothing from nobody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I do need a good square for my knight. I don't really have such a good option with this uh, with this bishop at all. Everything seems to be battened down. Not great. And we won't stop. We run things, things don't run. We don't take nothing from nobody. Yeah, yeah. It's our party, we can do what we want to. It's our house, we can love what we want to. It's our song, we can sing if we want to. It's my mouth, I can say what I want to. Oh, I should have put King to G2. I don't really wish to incur more exchanges. But we only have one option. And now... And we won't stop. Okay, 
Can I capture, capture, and capture? Is this pawn going to be weak? No. It's got queen coming in. God, it's ugly. We are in so much trouble here. There is no way we're surviving this one. Just no way we're surviving this one. Not a chance. I am officially toasted. I'm not officially toasted that way, but I am officially toasted. Yeah, I'm officially toasted. Oh, that was what I get for trying to blindly apply a system without actually looking. Let's take a look at what we need in our GTO strategy. That's the thing that's missing in our stream title. GTO. Let's get it in the stream title while we're at it. So on the G4 front, we're at 133. And on the B4 front, we're at 81, theoretically. We only need one A4 to break the 100 barrier, and then we can work on H4, B4, and A4. So let's do that. Let's get an A4 in today. A4, B4, H4 are what we really need. We can get H3 up in a heartbeat. By the way, it's much easier to play these odd openings in slow chess. It's also easier to get punished for playing these odd openings in slow chess. Which way are these pawns going? So the white pawn is trying to come in this direction. And the black pawns are going in that direction. So we're no longer in the square of the pawn. And we have no hope of ever promoting this pawn. He could have just pushed his pawn and ignored what was going on. But... We can know what the problem with the square of the pawn is. The king's not in it. He has to be here now in order to stop the pawn from promoting. Oh no, he's going to mate with bishop and knight? That is cool. I would appreciate that opportunity if my opponent played on. To demonstrate bishop and knight mates. Mad quick chess in the house. Houston poker. Although I don't think I've seen Mad Quick Chess streaming sometime. I'm going to poke my head in and see. Mad Wait. Keep chess. You're streaming on Tuesday, October 3rd, dude. P -L -O -M -T -T 12 Nicely done. Chess. That is a multi-table tournament for those who don't know. F got 2,400 back. Very nice. Very nice on a four to one on the entry. Good equity. Top 5%, Pot Limit Omaha, multi-table tournament. Mad Geek Chess. Very nicely done. It's okay, got confidence for 10K in Bahamas in deck. You're playing it. That's not the player's championship, is it? Poker Stars Player Championship, the PPC, the PSPC. All 
Alright. Now, our Sicilians are lacking, but our Alakines are as well. Said. WSOP Bahamas got three nights comp, three nights paid. Nice. That is pretty sweet, I have to admit. Alright, so in this particular Alakon, I've always been torn as to whether or not I want to play C6 first to get into that particular variation without worrying about the other stuff, but I believe that all of the lines are good, except for the modern variation. Cyber Elf Elbizo said, John, have you seen the Hall Saren S games? I would not be surprised if he becomes world champion one day. Mad Geek Chess. Nahal Saren? Said, yeah, I can believe that, Cyber Elf. everything can re-enter 3x and 40k too much for me, so 10 or 20k maybe sell a little action. I am cramped, so I need to seek exchanges. By the way. I do need to seek some exchanges. As Jobava and many others have proven, this requires a different temperament for the Alakine's defense. It does. You can't just play the Alakine's defense all the time. You actually need to have a certain temperament for it. I wonder if my opponent is going to force me to play what I want to play. Oh no, I missed my one chance, my one opportunity to t either take a free pawn. Cyber Elf Elbizo said, I have been coaching chess players on kick, even taking the title of kick as chess coach since no one else had claimed it. That's pretty cool. Can we? Can we let that pawn go? That is the question. Can we let the pawn go? I missed my chance for knight e3 while I was fooling around, unfortunately. I didn't realize that he'd played a blunder. We're just going to hold. Hold! We do, we do want to capture toward the center. And we do wish to... Simplify as best we can. Even if it means that we're going to have to pry open the center the hard way separately. So queen takes knight c3. Bishop takes knight c7. I think I have to take the weakness. Just for the moment. Bishop takes f3, knight takes d5, bishop takes d1, knight takes e7, check scarfs a pawn. So, we're going to just duck back and hold. But we can't, because knight a4 is a bother. It is a bother. C5. D takes C5. Bishop takes F3. I think I definitely need to give up the bishop pair here. And only now start chipping away. Yes. Only now start chipping away. Continue chipping. Chip, 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 chipping. Let's just keep chipping in this manner. 
We don't necessarily want e6 to come with a gain of time. Right now the material's equal. I have a very ferocious potential bishop on the long diagonal. I can only hope for some counterplay on the other long diagonal. Let's see if we can get him to play for some simplification. You are only waiting for this moment to arrive. We're just going to stir up some trouble as best we can. Only waiting for this moment to arrive. Into the light of the dark last night. And now for something completely different. He's threatening bishop takes and queen takes. Not good. Do we sack the exchange? Hmm. Could be in trouble here. Ladies and gentlemen, could be in a lot of throbs. Cyber Elf Elbizo. This does not look Sad. good. People don't mind that I don't have a master title, which is refreshing. So, do we allow what we think is going to happen to happen? Waiting for this moment to arrive. For this moment to arrive. All right, so now the moment of truth. He's after my pawn. I guess I have to try to stop him from taking the pawn. I'd like to be under the sea in an octopus's garden in the shade take me afraid sleeping in an octopus's garden in the shade i ask my friends to come and see an octopus's garden with me i like to be under the sea in an octopus's garden with me. In an octopus's garden. Hide away beneath the cave. Resting my head on the seabed. I don't know how I'm still 2182. What is up with that? Under the sea in an octopus's garden with shame. What happens on rook f1? Do I sack the pawn back with d2? I don't think I have much of a choice. d2, and that way if anything happens, I will have bishop takes e5 or... Happy you and me. What to do. Now... I have a feeling he's going to retreat his knight anyway. Sea, 
So on Queen G7, Rook F1. Yeah, I thought he might retreat his knight anyway. So therefore... I need to get my stuff active as quickly as possible. My queen is not active at all. Rook to b3. Queen to c4. F5. Hmm. King is so, so exposed. Get in there. We're inching along. And part of the plan was to get our stuff out, right? We need to sack the pawn just to get the knight out. Yes. D6 check. Threatening to do something very heroic in just a moment. Knight to g5. Queen to f5. Yeah, we're in big trouble. That's all there is to it. We're going to have to blockade to the best of our ability. And now, for something completely different, yes, please exchange. Oh no. Am I dead? I'm dead, Jim. Yeah, I'm dead, Jim. Death Note 26, welcome back. I had faith in my position up to the moment I sacked the exchange. And then knight g5 question mark. He had to play knight c5. That's true. Rook d3. Queen h4. Queen g7. Oh, silly me. Such a simple move to regain composure. That was a terrible move, coordinating my queen and bishop. Silovy, taking a couple on the chin. There's no way that I'm still 2182. Good. 2174 is more like it. 74 was a great year. 
I think the troops came home from Vietnam in 74. Why would people mind, though, by the way, that you have a master title? Why would they mind? Cyber Alpha Piso. Is it because we play unorthodox openings? This is very standard stuff, and I missed my chance to clobber him here. Let's not let one of those opportunities go again. And I earned a full point by. Oh my god, that's terrible. This could be a moment to get coffee. Death Note, you're up. If he gets notifications by email or mobile message, he'll be back. Or it could be that he really does need to answer a phone call and he's on the line he's on the other line. Ariel Zamora's opponent. Brand new member of the dojo. How do I know? I understand about indecisions. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. <clears throat> we just gave him a wake-up call there just in case what do we have here what was this opening a scandinavian turned Karo Khan with queen d5 Ariel Zamora is playing well. I'm always big on this gambit idea here, but the knight has to be guarded by the C2 pawn in order for that to work. Can we give up? Or do we have to break the pin and go for 95? I think we have to break the pin and go for 95. This is causing some troubles. Are we getting another move in? People living in competition. I was thinking knight c6 was more to the point than bishop d6. Ah, but on knight c6 he did have d5 tacking both and eliminating the pawn. Knight c6, d5, bishop takes f3, queen takes f3, knight to d4. Maybe it would have been okay. And then e5. Yeah, knight c6 was more to the point. Ruining pawn structure only incurs a bit of wrath along the g-file. Could be awkward. So he chooses to capture the, we're not certain how valuable bishop now we need to stop e4 perhaps maybe with rook e1 
It's looking a little hairy around the king because we didn't bring our bishop back to e2. Let me check on the grandson. He's talking. such a big boy. He's watching a movie. And now Black has to decide how he's going to apply more pressure because he always has Queen F6 and E F3 as well. So F3 and Queen F6 are in mind if we sack the knight. It does help to start trying to ease the pressure a little bit. Uh-oh. Did we overlook that possibility? Knight to c6. Knight to c6, queen to e4, bishop takes, queen takes. He chooses this manner instead to try to overwork the queen in two directions. How many pawns do we have? Only two pawns for the piece? But the d5 pawn is a little bit sketch. Just a little bit sketch. Knight c5, rook takes e5, queen takes e5, knight takes e5, knight takes d3. Knight takes d3. Then it's two pieces for a rook, or is it? Or is it an exchange? Probably best, but knight to g5. F5, knight to e6. E4 and knight e5. Yeah, it looks very exciting. So f5, knight e6, e4. Queen must move. And then knight e5. We can't afford to sack the exchange though, can we? So f5, knight e6, rook f6. Looks pretty profitable. Let's see it again. So rook f6, bishop g5, rook to g6. We're here to get better, by the way. These wins or losses are not that important. It's not win or lose in these particular situations. We are here to improve. This is a club environment. There is a certain amount of kibitzing going on. Rook to e6, by the way, does threaten the queen. So rook to f6, bishop g5, rook takes free knight. We will see what he has in mind after rook f6. The knight's hanging, not protected. Should probably move the queen. Super Petzer. Said. NC7. Knight C7 indeed, but then the rook's double. 
We don't have to take. Knight c7 is a is a is a move that forces the black rook on a8 to come into the game. Magic chess said, "Super Pats are too playing for tricks, he he." And now what? Is it worth it to go after the king? Rook takes e6. F takes g4. F takes g4. Rook takes e6 looks best, actually. But how best? Pawn is hanging. So rook takes e6. F takes g4. This is probably forced because rook to g6 can be met by, or can it be met by, queen takes f5, and then rook f8. Yeah, it looks good. No matter what, rook takes e6 looks like the best move. Just because that knight on the sixth rank is an octopus knight as coined as the phrase is coined in train your pattern recognition and in another book what is the other book that they refer to it i think it's in uh marcos's book jan marcos's book uh, under the surface i don't know we're actually hoping for too much here and the knight is still hanging it pays off Mad wow said Octopus it pays off. Fourth name for me. The gambit pays off. He did not move his queen. So now black is just two pawns up with an awkwardly placed rook. Said. QXF5. Mm hmm. Yep, QXF5 indeed. Now we have a lot of choices here. A lot. What happens? Check there. It doesn't work. So rook to h6 is simplest. Threatening bishop to g6 or bishop f7. We always have e4. Everything's battened down. Everything looks pretty good. So rook h6 seems pretty reasonable. Forced, in fact. Let's not get too fancy. Is he really considering allowing queen takes e6? Uh-oh. This is looking a little bit sketchy, sir. Just a little bit sketchy. Yeah, we're still down a piece in this position. And we lost a pawn, so we only have one pawn for our piece. Bishop d1. Queen takes d5. Bishop b3. And are we made it? Queen takes rook. We take two rooks. No, we can't take it because he's got his queen on it. So is is anything getting in? Setting the trap. All we're gonna be is me. This doesn't ease the pressure after knight takes f3. <coughs> right? Because <coughs> hmm. there's always queen h2 at the end, even if you try to pick everything up. This is awkward as well. But maybe we can survive this one. No, you don't walk into losing the queen. He didn't see it. King takes. He didn't see knight f4 check. 
Those knights can't move backwards. Now we're gonna hide. Queen takes d1. No choice. Mad Geek Chess said, "Backwards with knight, new rule or something." Absolutely, it's a new rule. Rook check and mate, unfortunately. Mate and two. Although Black hasn't seen other tactics, he might not see checkmate. You gotta play it out. <laughs> yeah. Young players do not see backwards moves as easily. That much is true. We're on page two, even with our full point by. Said. He will see flag fall though. <laughs> That's a falling backwards of sorts. Andrew, any travels in the near future? How many hours is it to Vegas? Gotta be at least six or seven, probably. Houston is, I mean, Texas is such a big state. It's ridiculous how big Texas is. I think Texas is bigger than most countries. Yeah, Bahamas man, FKK Vegas, not my scene. <laughs> the Bahamas is lovely. I enjoyed the Bahamas. Paradise Island, and I went to an, a number of other casinos in a different part, which is an old, the older part. Mad Geek Chess said, supposedly the local places. for Christmas, but annoyed waiting too long to book ticket, probably gonna be 3K. <laughs> It's a lot, man. Never gonna be his. All right, we needed to get one more A4 in to get our GTO, by the way. And I do have a strategy here for this particular A4 move. I've been applying it very consistently recently. If my opponent is with us, he may be analyzing his game. That's the lovely thing about Rapid, is that you still have time to analyze your game, even if you go a minute or so into your next game. It's one of the reasons why I haven't changed the five seconds between rounds. And on the weekday tournaments, I think I have to change it to 10 seconds, because people don't have time to leave and withdraw at the same time. And because it's a Swiss, you need time to withdraw between rounds. I don't want anyone forfeiting because they weren't able to play the next game. So has anyone figured out my strategy with A4? Let's not let him four move checkmate us. Feeling like I do, he said. So we are going to play. A King's Indian-esque attack. And sometimes it's going to pay off. Especially if people play the nine magic moves without putting two pawns in the center. Mad Geek Chess said, Buddy told me to consider North Carolina for Thanksgiving some kind of WSOP circuit thing. That's lovely. I keep track of the circuits by following Alan Kessler. What's bothering you now, Alan? Well, I'm not giving it back that easily. Caveman chess at its finest. Break down. Go ahead. Give it to me. Break down now. Take it to the top. That is a little bit of a bother. So I don't want him to get too much. But how do I keep him from getting too much? Two pieces for a ruck.
Yeah? I don't have much of a choice here. I'm working upstairs. I'm on stream. In case you can't hear my grandson downstairs, he is asking what I am doing up here. We are just going to continue to open up lines for our piezas to try to control center squares. We are up a piece. Our opponent doesn't really want to trade. I'm more than willing to let him trade if you'd like to. As long as I can get some good squares for my pizzas as well. Well, that's interesting. Bishop G5? Or do I just go for it this way? Knight D4, Rook takes F6. Knight takes B3. Where are you going, sir? Knight h6, I can't allow that. Yes, Anakin. Anakin, I can't leave, buddy. Anakin, I can't leave. What? No, we're not going to school today. I'm happy that you like the idea of going to school, though. Got E4 attacking my rook. But the b7 pawn is hanging. The d3 pawn can be a rock. I don't really want that. I would like a, a protected pass pawn, though, so let's just go for it. Next to you in my so blue. Can attack. Can attack the knight on b3, but on g4, but he does get a double fork here. Knight to d4, queen to d1. Hmm. Knight to g5. How about that? That looks a little bit more forcing. And then if knight to d4. Knight f6, queen takes f1. Let's not do it with our hands on the pieces. How about that? Let's not do it with our hands on the pieces. What is he going to do here? How about if we just bother him? Because the queen has to stay on the e5 pawn. Nope. We're just going to drop it there by accident. And now that our queen can find... I really want that f5 square. I want the e3 square as well. Your time to use was saving, then you better 
Knight to d4, queen to d1, and e3 to kick the knight out and see where he can go. Come again. I feel like he's almost trapped. And we have a discovery on that knight as well. Times we are a changing. This bishop's too valuable just yet. I guess that knight is the more valuable one. Now we have some pressure. For the times they are a changing. Takes and back rank mate. D6, rook takes. He is getting some Gegenspiel. Which you can understand. Knight F6. Rook takes f6. I don't really want his knight to have any squares at all. At all. Doubling rooks. What is he threatening, knight to g4? He is stopping rook f7. All right, knight g4 it is, ladies and gents. Queen g8, bishop takes, queen takes, bishop takes, king g8, queen h6, king h6, rook to g7, queen h7, no, let's look at that one again, so it's queen g8, bishop takes, queen takes, bishop takes, king must move, queen e6, king must take on g7, and that should be finny. After rook f7, king h8, queen f6 check. This should be a finny. Less than finny. Did he think that I was taking his rook? Would that even have been okay? Was it... It wasn't mate, was it? Was it mate with bishop takes check, queen g5 check, king to, uh, king to h8 check, 
Queen f6 check, king to g8, bishop d5. Knight f7, queen f7. King h8, queen f6. Yeah, I guess it was a forced mate if I played bishop takes g7. But this one is shorter. Robotmon, did you withdraw? I admit that he doesn't play bullet. That much is true. Robotmon doesn't play bullet. He's not playing well in his last four rated games here. With a loss, a win, a loss, loss, 1646. Not polite. I'm not going to report any abuse or anything like that because it's a Swiss. Thank you for pinning the event, Darkblade. Did we get any other students in this? I did advertise it to some students. See if we can push off our lesson to 1045 so I can give the Bobby some time. I didn't get to where I was trying to go to. Motliak? Oh no. He's analyzing his game. I don't want to bother him. Let me just quickly send off this text for the lesson. Supposed to work with uh, Mad. I'm sorry, the well-heeled king on his chest today. He is missing some fundamentals. He's definitely missing some fundamentals. Not another living soul around. What am I missing here? We're going to message him in another window if I can. Where are you, Motlik? You are in second place. is gone and the lights slow down unless he's studying my games to see what i play i don't even know what i play i honestly do not know what i play i could play the alakine again but i don't feel that i need that i think i need more frenches than alakines but what can i get for the solid and sound openings that are 200 games. D6 and the Peerts. Perk alert. I did have Alex, uh, Grandmaster Alexander Chernin for a coach. Grandmaster Alex Artur Yusupov. Grandmaster Alex Drapunsky. I've taken classes with each of them. Artur Yusupov gave me a book that I don't believe is published yet. 
in his Booster Chess series. He signed over a nice book once. And it was pre-COVID. It was probably the last ICA tournament. So that was 2019, the summer of 2019. It's always good to date the volumes that you sign over to people, by the way. Should you sign over anything that quick chess to a student, you have to remember to date it. It's really useful to date it. All right, and we're off. I will find my volume later. I should go through those cover to cover. I prefer the close Sicilian from this direction, to tell you the truth, and then to sneak into the Accelerated Dragon without allowing any funny business with this Meroxy bind. So against this, is d5 really the best move? I still feel it is. Mm-hmm. So now we have a very valuable cinder pun. So he's stopping me from playing knight to either square, and he's stopping me from playing He's not necessarily stopping me from playing uh, He's not really stopping me from playing, but it doesn't work. Run away, run away, run away, let go, let go. Say so. Echoes. Time to let it go. So C5 as a pawn sacrifice. Knight takes E5. Two pieces for a rook. Do I get two pieces for a rook on knight takes E5? All right, but he does get the c5 square. I'm a little on. I'm a little bothered by that. Run away, run away. It's all in me. What's it got to do? Make up your mind. Tell me what are you gonna do? Maybe I don't get two pieces for the pawn. Bishop takes, Bishop takes. In for a penny and in for a pound, I say. So I just took a rock. He took a rock. And he gave back the pizza. I was six years old, broke my leg. So it became a math problem. And his knight has no forward movement. That's all I'm good.
I have to remove the defender. So if I capture and he captures, I have a passed pawn, he has a passed pawn. They are missing some tactics here. Always look at your opponent's big idea before you move. Rule number one. Rule number two, see rule number one. Hydrate from Pegasus. Hats on for you. Aye, aye. Ah, fair enough. A little late. Better late than never. I guess this is the only hat I have available. It's a little big with the haircut, unfortunately. It's a little big with the haircut. Let's uh, check that game for uh, consistency here. Hold on, before we go on any further, we've got, what? Our A4 did not register. What about as black? Let's just do as black against the E4. Got enough alakines at 66%. We have enough Frenches, but we don't have enough modern Scandinavians Nimzoviches. I'm doing pretty well with the Nimzovich. We're only 10 games. <coughs> I could choose my opponents carefully with the Nimzovich and probably get to uh, a higher score if I play the Nimzovich only against players rated. Let's just do these incrementally, right? So this is... Players that are even in strength. Players 100 points below, 200 points below, 300 points below, 400 points below, 500, 600 points below me. So anybody under, or anybody in the 1400 category gets knight c6. And yes, I have had to play knight a6 on quite a number of occasions. Knight a6 is not the best first move. It's in the offer spiel events, honestly, that I have to play that move. I'm winning with a6. I don't know that I can get these over 200. Hydrate. Reminder, I did bring a bottle up early, uh, yesterday or the day before when I wasn't streaming. Namaste, Pegasus. Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Hay in the house. Great supporter. I did not get... Oops, not Tron. <laughs> How did I hit that? Oh, I must have hit it with the R. As black, I need to bring up my Karl Khan percentage. So maybe, just maybe, I will start playing the Karl Khan against everybody. 1,500 and below. That's one artificial way to get these up to uh, passing score. The French and the Karl Khan I will play against players that are much lower rated. The French and all moves other than C5, E5, and Knight F6. How about that? I've been in this position 41 times. 40 times here. I played d6 once by accident. I think I transposed into this opening from that. I've played d5 four times, and that's the first time I've won. 
Oh my god, and I played it against Motlick before. So it's time to put this on the study block. Do masters just play D6 and play a standard classical Sicilian? Yeah, it's probably what we should do. And use the book. But I know what uh, Gowan Jones is going to tell me. Check Gowan Jones for a moment in Dragon 2. Oh, no, Dragon 2 is a Yugoslav. I figured Dragon 1 is just a Yugoslav. Grandmaster opening repertoire. Soltis variation, Chopla variation. Dragon 2. It's just the remainder of the Yugoslav. Quiet system, the classical variation, Rabinovich attack, other aggressive options, Karpov variation, quiet setup, Bishop E2. All right, we'll look it up. We'll do a little bit of a study on this particular one. Classical dragon coming up, ladies and gentlemen. We'll do a separate study stream on it. And the flooding in New York City is rather egregious, I have to admit. B4 and G4, my A4 didn't register, but I should be at 100 in that. Need H4, B4, and G4. What do I get with Juan? I don't like any of these moves, honestly. H4, A4. H3. Let's just play like Dinglerin. Hope to get into a Queen's Gambit accepted. As in game number two of the World Championship match. I am studying that currently in Informant 156. It feels like the first time. It feels like the very first time. Is he going for it, ladies and gentlemen? He's not going for it. Let's preserve our bishop. Now that it's found you, together we'll make history. Can I allow this? Queen H4 check, my king has to move. Now let's just play normal against Ron. We have to show him the utmost respect. The absolute and utmost respect. Has anyone attempted? Has anyone attempted? Before I bring my knight out, I'm going to need to. Up the door. Never again. Knight G5. E5. E5 seems logical. Said. So. Can we fix the a6 pawn as a weakness? D5, knight e5. We need to fix the a6 pawn as a weakness. How about that? 
Rom was never going to castle on that side of the board. Follow through on our ideas, ladies and gentlemen. Following through on our ideas. F5, Bishop, G5. We will be grabbing more space momentarily. C5. Let's visit his queen. Takes, takes. This is what we were geared at. Oh, shoots. That's a bummer. Maybe it's exactly what we wanted. We wanted a square clearance. And now for something completely different. For something completely different. What is up, my handsome grandson? What is up, my handsome grandson? Just the threat. Just the threat. Just the threat of putting a knight on d6. How about that? Just the threat. Did we sack a pawn? We did. But Ron has such a huge number on me that he's just going to crush me like a bog. I tell you, he's going to crush me like a bog. So where is the night going? That is the question. Where is that knight going? Bishop takes c6. We need to remove the defender. How about that? Let's remove the defender of... this action.
And now, Knight D6 is stopped only by... The fact that we have more pieces that need to come in. Cheese. How do we put more pressure on him, folks? We need to put more pressure on him. Yes, that was to be expected. Knight takes h7 and g4. Knight to e4. Are you going to d4? Oh, Ron. He's got knight h4 as well. Well, his knight is pinned. So we have to take advantage of the pin. His knight on b7 is hurting. And now for something completely different. We have to tag that before it goes away while everything is pinned. Knight to d4. He's still pinned. He's no longer pinned. That's a fork. That is a fork, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, it's a fork. Can't let him be up in material too much. Huh. 
Darn it. I had planned on not letting him have Queen C3. Fine. Check, check. I'm not sure I believe in anything I feel. And now, now that you're near, there's nothing more without you. Without you here. Take, takes. And the winner is and I'm trying to believe in things that I don't know. The turning of the world, the color of your soul. The love could kill the pain. The truth is never vain. It turns strangers into lovers and enemies to brothers. Just say you What do you have here, sir? H4 check. G4. Gotta get that pawn moving. Where are you going, sir? Let's just give him a complimentary checkup. Now that you're here, there's nothing more without you. Oh, you're trying to checkmate me? And you did it, didn't you? Wise guy. He checkmate he checkmated me. Nicely done, Ron. So in this particular position right here, when I decided to sack the bishop, do I play knight e five? Or am I just dead lost? I'm just dead lost here. Those pieces are just too well coordinated. Can I just step back? King to G1. King, King G1, King F1, Knight to D5. Yeah, I saw that. Another day goes by. A5 is the best move. And I had to play knight to d3 and allow his rook to get behind my pass pawn. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Nicely done, Ron. 2057. Our Karo Khan percentage can only get higher, right? But we're trying to catch up to our Karo Khan and our Sicilians. I did need to go to the bathroom.
No, I don't have anything as extravagant as Kramnik's toilet in my bathroom to be able to play on the uh, Lee Chess uh, All right, we're going for the most complicated variation according to Gowan Jones and beating the Sicilian. He recommends bishop to b5 check. I cannot recall what he plans on playing. Glissary. I believe that the end game was simpler for me, so taking on d4 could well be the easiest of all the moves. Glycerine. Easier. Yeah, we do have to push the envelope here just a little bit. Before I go knight a5 and knight c4. And I got something you need. Talking to the core. Ain't talking about love. Keep talking about love. So bishop takes e5. Bishop g. Bishop h6. Bishop takes b2. Bishop d2. Bishop c7. Where's the night going? Then I stood and looked down. You know I lost a lot of friends there, baby. Ain't got no time to mess around. Free, baby. Knight c4 doesn't work anymore. Bishop e4.
Now night to see if war works again. Or do we stop for a moment and take a pawn? We can stop for a moment and take a pawn because the rook on a1 is somewhat frozen. So, rook b1, queen a3, rook a1, queen c5. Doesn't look too profitable for him. You get a rook to the seventh rank at the expense of two pawns. Made of these, who am I to disagree? Travel the world and the sky. Let's just make sure that he captures the proper way. Some of them want to get used by you. Knight to c4. Knight takes c4. Bishop takes c4. Be abused. But my b7 pawn will be hanging, won't it? So I think we have to throw in the check first. Travel the world and the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. We'll just try our best. That's all we can do. Now that the knight on e5 is pinned, Everybody's looking for something. Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Travel the world in the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Travel the world in the seven seas. That's a bummer. Bishop to d5. Who am I to disagree? Travel the world and the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. Am I just winning up an exchange?
How to save a life How to save a life The simplest way to threaten to win a piece So now we have a demonstration on how to win with pawns that move forward by themselves. When you have three passed pawns, the pawns move forward by themselves. You don't need my king for this one believe it or not we don't need the king for this one the technique is self-explanatory demonstrate oh no he didn't even bother to resist he didn't bother to resist we do need to use the facilities throughout that game though unfortunately one of those things as it turns out
All right, meanwhile, back in the ranch. I think we'll be okay with this one. I could have zoomed in on that game, but we could have gotten paired as well. Does not look good for the uh, for the commander of the light forces. We might need a cup of coffee on this note. Thought about an unusual OnlyFans. I don't know what the return is on OnlyFans, but what is the other one that uh, that they advertise? Oh no! I did not make it to the top three. Patolfo got me, so we couldn't make it past round seven. We didn't quite have enough players, as it turns out. Congratulations, Ron Hay. Ron did get me nicely. That much is true. It's always nice to see people starting late, finishing first. Just have to play well, that's all. Ariel Zamora got me. I'm still at a respectable super rapid rating of 21 to 80. <coughs> Just because you have more time no, by no means guarantees that you're going to play better chess than in Blitz. I lost three games and won three games. Very sad. But we should look into the dragon. He did, he played well. Super Patzer. Or my opponent played well when he played me. I think that was when uh, I was playing Ron. Cyrus Chess World followed me five days ago. Very nicely done. We're going to send everyone over to Phoebe while we regather ourselves for the Dragon stream, perhaps. If there is a Dragon stream to be had, or should we just include it here since our, our stream is so short? What was that dragon? Was it this one? No, it was Motlek. That was black against Motlek. Oh, 
Oh no, this was the Accelerated Dragon. Ah. Alright, let's take a quick peek at this, since it's going to be saved in our game as it is. If I were to play d6, we'll be in the Classical Dragon with Bishop e3 and castles. We don't know what his next move will be. So he has knight to b3, queen d2, and f4. Those are the popular choices. King h1 seems misplaced. Castles, castles. It really matters what he does now. Suggestions, anyone, for what we should look at for white? Knight to b3. Why do I feel like I'm off by a tempo? I do feel like I'm off by a tempo here. Castles, F4. No, it has to be in this one, yes? So his three major choices, according to Gow and Jones, are Rook to E1, F4, and King H1. F4 does not look all that challenging on 183. 183, 184, and 185, and 186. So we're just going to look at this briefly in this book. Gowan Jones' suggestions if I were to play it this way from now on. Because I do reach this position quite often, and I, and I feel like d5 is the best move. But d6 seems to leave a lot more to chance. Knight takes c6, b takes c6, e5, knight to d7. Knight e8 is also a choice. Perhaps knight e8 is the most reasonable move to get the knight back into the game. Let's take a look. So if knight to e8, looking at the dragon aficionados, All right, we're headed over to Phoebe Wit. Now that we know what we're supposed to be playing. Her ever so lovely to Lucy stream. She often runs events as well, and she may well be in the middle of running an event now. And then simply f6 breaking down the center if they capture we're going to capture back with a piece which piece is entirely up to us i guess this reinforces the chance that our knight will have better squares to move to right perhaps please join the dojo Please subscribe to YouTube if you have not yet already. That will greatly, greatly help. And that's where you will find all of these daily streams and my comments on various openings and my attempts to do right by each particular unusual move and finding a really good concept because it's not the openings that win games, people do. Pegasus Sway said THX for the game's time for chess and poker party soon. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. Mad Quick Chess. Cheers and ciao, everyone.